you can tell by the cacophonous symphony of road noise, I am in the car. I'm on the way to my Nana's house for Easter break. And so far this Easter break, I have successfully become proficient in one ukulele song. Yay! I have created several tank tops and hair accessories out of an old t-shirt. One of which I'm still working on. And I painted a part of picture. I have my travel craft bag for all of your crafting needs. I have like two crafts in here. It's amazing. I've also brought the ingredients for the potato brownies that I made a few videos ago. I'm gonna put the link here somewhere. And I'm also gonna put it down in the doobly-doo. And you guys can check it out because it's a really good recipe. No one believes me, but it doesn't have any sugar or any gluten. And so it's really good for everyone who has allergies to everything. And I was gonna make them for my Nana because she cannot have sugar and she's like, I don't have any sweet things in my belly. I also have plenty of books and a blanket. You could say I overpack sometimes. Also big thumbs up for the low who just held my camera while I did all of that upside down. Yay, 10 points for her. We got in last night and we started a puzzle and um, if there's one thing about grandmothers, I think that's universal, is they're all worried you're starving. Like, I just wanted a waffle for breakfast, and she's like, Oh, are you sure you don't want blueberries? Or, I've got eggs, and I've got cheese, would you like anything? And I was like, I just want a waffle. Waffles are fine. Today's Easter Sunday, and we don't normally celebrate Easter, but we definitely celebrate the presence of chocolate. Lowe's is milk chocolate, because she's lame. She can't handle the power, man. Because I have like 90% cocoa at home, I should eat that one day. Oh man, it's it's nasty. I just had a brush from that me. This is a really comfortable bed. I was like, oh, I'll lay down. Yeah, let's just do it from here. You can kind of, yeah. This is fun. I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, I'm out the door. I didn't really feel like P. Diddy today. We've been watching Doctor Who like all day and last night. And oh my God, last night, freaking series coming back oh my god it was amazing Ooh, it's nice and cloudy out here witness the rain the storm's coming i can feel it it's pretty windy out here yeah oh look at charlie charlie so we depart and i get the front seat and it's raining too Ooh, raining It seems like the heavens weren't conspiring against us too much because if there's anything worse than traveling, it's traveling with a torrential downpour and a sister. <laughs> Mom is all like, hee 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 hee. But seriously, the lows like being weird. I think I'm still a bit anxiety like freaking out that there's gonna be like this crazy accident and be like, oh my god, we're all gonna die. But maybe some of it's just a little bit of like that anxiousness and kind of excitement just to see if we might make it in time to see one of the Doctor Who specials that are on tonight. Preferably John Pertwee because he's awesome. Mm -hmm. Another cool thing about traveling, especially in Texas, is you get to see all the blue bonnets along the side of the road and a lot of people like are taking pictures in the blue bonnets. I'm surprised my mom hasn't asked to like stop and take a picture in the blue bonnets because I mean I'm, I think I'm adequately dressed. I'm in a nice shirt. Same can't be said for the low though, she's just in a t-shirt. I saw this guy like walking his dog while riding a motor scooter. How, how cool is that? I mean like, when I'm old and all raisiny, I want to be like one of those old people who do the totally awesome things but are still like, oh that person's adorable. I want to be, I want to be one of those old people. Sounds like a brachiosaurus. A brachio what? A brachiosaurus. No way. 